when I first started with Justice Action, my first task was to try to arrange a visit with Saeed to see if um, I could actually, as an intern, go in and speak to him about the case and get his side of what happened so that I could further assist and kind of understand from him what was going on. But the uh, Justice Health, where he is currently, totally refused the visit. After weeks of me contacting them, asking them um, if I could visit Saeed, explain to them that I was an intern working on the case and helping prepare his appeal, and I was totally denied on various grounds, one being that I wasn't a physical friend, um, whatever that means, and two being that um, Brett Collins is Saeed's uh, primary care, and he's the uh, only person from Justice Action allowed to see Saeed, even though Brett is not the only person that's working on the case, we weren't allowed access to Saeed. Uh, to my understanding, Saeed's case happened nearly eight years ago. He was working for a court in Australia and started to get, um, I guess, beliefs that the government was after him and he began to write letters to uh, the police and the court system that he worked for indicating that someone was after him that within the uh, facility and then he eventually um, after never receiving any responses from his letters he set fire uh, to kind of make a statement to the building not knowing that anyone was in the building and in result um, one woman was killed and another woman was severely injured and it was totally not his intention for that to happen I think the fire was only to um, set president and kind of make it known that he was being ignored by authorities and it uh, went the wrong way. Okay, so so it's, um, how are you going there mate? I'm just surviving in this unproductive, inactive, boring, depressing and maddening environment. They didn't only ignore my letters and faxes and my serious written and threatening statement. They ignored and uh, they ignored the law of the land. As we believe this is Australia governed by the rule of law and nobody is above the law. Section 24 of New South Wales Mental Health Act 1990. Section 6 and 7 of New South Wales Police Act 1990 require the New South Wales Police Force to apprehend me without a warrant as soon as I made those serious written threatening statements to them, which they failed to do that. Yeah, so this is a failure of the system, and in order to cover it up, they have put me in the maximum security mental hospital of the state in the country and jabbing me left, right, center. I don't know, I should have been out years ago if I would have gone through criminal justice system, if I would have received a fair criminal trial, if they wouldn't diagnose me to be mentally ill in three minutes in Silverwater and transfer me to Longview Hospital, I would have been out four years ago. The, the issue about, about some, your rights, I think a lot of people are horrified by how badly you, you've been treated there. The witness has been working on, on the issues of, of for mental health patients' rights. What do you, what, what have, you, have you been surprised about um, how few rights there are, wouldn't you? Yes, definitely. Um, the fact that you're forced to take medication, that definitely betrays some of your rights. Yeah, and, and so look, a lot of people are surprised about a lack of education and, uh, and even that you should be still um, locked in the, in the uh, unit there. What, what happens when you, when you actually say to them you don't want the medication? As, uh, as Whitney said, what, happened, what do they say? Eight nurses come around, they restrain me and they stick a needle in me. Mm. We are the most expensive inmates or patients in the New South Wales and Australia. Over $200,000 per annum is being spent on every, us, every one of us. But the only thing we get in here is sit up, put up and shut up, otherwise they jab us. Now, there's the convention um, for the uh, people with disability, and that does give entitlement for people to to um, to uh, say uh, uh, give agreement um, to medication and otherwise to refuse it. And he makes it really clear that he does not want the medication; that it's actually more used for as a management tool because he's one of these um, people who are prepared to speak up um, against uh, against uh, those things that are happening to him, um, and uh, they don't like that. It's a management issue for them.